Good morning. Today is Tuesday, May 19th, and I would like us to start off today with our ladybug journals. And I'm going to show you the adult ladybugs that have now come out of the pupa stage and are crawling around their habitat. You will notice this is the underside of them here and here. And if you look straight back, you can see, I'll turn it this way maybe, you can see these guys back here. Their bodies are red, um, but they're not really like a bright red. They're kind of a light red. Um, I think that they might be continuing to change and that shell will get a little darker. Their wings will get a little darker. Uh, and here they are. There's some inside of here. They've all come out. These are the leftovers of the pupa that they made and that they broke out of. Um, and those are still hanging there. And then these interesting little brown things on the bottom are actually raisins, like raisins that we eat. Um, apparently ladybugs like them too. And so they are in the bottom here. Um, they have been, they're very sweet, so they have been eating those, I think, because nectar from flowers is also very sweet, which is really what they normally would eat. In fact, you can see one down here nibbling on the raisin right now. This little guy over here is crawling around. Um, so there you are. There are the adult ladybugs that have come out. Look, there's a little guy down here that have come out of the pupa stage and now are real ladybugs. All right, so you should go ahead and pause this. I'll turn it around so you can see. Go ahead and pause the video and I'm finished here and you can take out your journal, your ladybug life cycle observation journal. Looks like this. So take this out Turn to the next page, and here you're going to uh, be checking off the adult ladybug stage, and you're going to draw what you see inside here. You see that I put um, raisins in there because that's something that I noticed uh, that was in the habitat, and then I labeled it, and then I wrote about what I saw. I wrote, they turned into adult ladybugs. They are crawling around. They are red now with black spots. Some are eating raisins. So, of course, you're not going to draw what I, you're not going to write what I wrote. You're going to write your own observations inside of here. So go ahead and pause my video and you can get started on this. When you are finished with this, you will be going to Epic. There are two books uh, in your mailbox. You have a little mailbox up in the corner. You can click on that that I've assigned to you. One is a book that you can read and one is a book that can be read um, to you. Uh, so you'll be working on that. This week uh, we have contractions for our spelling words. So don't forget when you are writing these out that you include that apostrophe. Remember apostrophes are up at the top of the word, at the top of the letters and a comma that we've been learning about is at the bottom. So the apostrophes all need to go at the bottom. Remember, contractions are two words put together into one new word. So make sure that you uh, pay attention to that apostrophe when you're doing your spelling words this week. Um, you're gonna be doing an activity in Seesaw on the ending sound A-R, R, -R. And for Writer's Workshop today, you should have finished the cover of your animal report and the page that talks about you, the author. So um, if you're not finished with that, go ahead and finish that up today. And then you are going to be working on the next two pages. You should have a page here that says the type of animal. And you're going to be working on the habitat, where your animal lives. Be very specific. Don't just say it lives in Africa. Tell me exactly where it lives in Africa. Does it live in a dry place? Does it live in the sandy place? Does it live in the forest? Does it live near water? Does it live in a creek? Does it live in a lake? Does it live by the ocean? So be very specific about the type of habitat that your animal lives in. Uh, you're gonna continue with telling time this week and working in your Swan uh, book. And there's a brain pop today about butterflies, and I would like you to pay attention when you're watching it. 
Maybe have a little, uh, your journal or a little piece of paper where you can jot down three facts that you learned from the video and you can tell your grown-ups at home or your older brother or sister uh, what you learned from that. And finally, you're going to have a scholastic news today. This is actually the second grade uh, version and you do not have it in your home learning packet. Um, Mrs. Hauer has it. So she gave it to us. So we can go on to this um, Scholastic News and you can log in with the code and you can watch it and read it online. You just don't have it in your in your actual packet. So that's our day. Uh, don't forget to take out your journals this morning and get started with our ladybugs. I have a feeling we're probably going to um, be letting those go tomorrow. So um, I'll, take, I'll make sure I take a lot of video of that. Um, have a great day. Work hard. And I'll see you tomorrow.